Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 11, where we have in this chapter dietary laws about the foods we're to eat, foods not to eat. First and foremost, I have to say that the Bible tells us that anything we eat is from God. It is healthy to say that we could have anything we want to eat, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4, as long as we give thanks to God. We are not to judge others, spiritually speaking, by what people eat. Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 and 17 tells us that. We're not to be legalistic about what people eat. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31 tells us, whatever you eat or drink, just give glory to God. So first and foremost, spiritually speaking, we are not to judge other people by what they eat. However, there is a problem in our culture today here in America with gluttony, with over being overweight. Now, I want to say this, first and foremost, again, not everybody that's overweight is a glutton. My own wife is has put on some weight the last few years because of a condition. She, she gets these fibroids. Fibroids are kind of like tumors that a lot of women sometimes get. Doctors have put her on medication the last few years to regulate that. But one of the side effects is it helps, to, re unfortunately, for her to retain water. People sometimes have thyroid problems that causes them to gain weight very easily. So we're not to judge everybody that's overweight and say right away that they're gluttons. However, gluttony is a big problem today. And people are called what, what I call emotional eaters. They go to food right away to try to comfort them. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 20 and 21 specifically says that gluttony, comparing it with drunkenness, is a sin. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 2 tells us, if you're given into gluttony, cut your throat. Now, the Bible doesn't mean literally cut your throat, because you remember what Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, said in Matthew chapter 18, verses 8 and 9, when he said, if your foot, your hand, or your eye causes you to stumble, cut it off. That doesn't mean you literally cut your eye out. It means, Jesus, what he was saying is, if you're looking at something you shouldn't be looking at, stop doing it. Your hand is a picture of things you do. You work with your hands. If you're doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing, stop doing it. I'm batting away some bugs if you see me doing that with my hand. If your foot causes you to stumble, stop doing things that you should be, you shouldn't be walking to places sort of like a bar if you're an alcoholic. Stop taking your feet to a place that you shouldn't be going to. So that's what the Lord is telling us there. We're not to mutilate our bodies. As it says in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 2, if, if you're given into gluttony, cut your throat. That means stop eating like a glutton. Just eat what you need to have. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20 tells us that our bodies are a temple, a temple of the Holy Spirit. We are to take care of it. Me in my own personal life, there are times when I overeat. However, God in his own ways has blessed me with a very fast metabolism I'm able to burn it off pretty good. I try to stay active working out. I have a very physical job, so I'm able to burn the calories, but that might look good on the outside. However, inwardly, you don't know what you're doing to your body, my brothers and sisters. That is why so many people today have cholesterol problems, diabetes, uh, inflammation. A lot of problems we have is because we overeat or because of the foods that we do eat. Sadly, here in America, a lot of the foods that we have have artificial colorings, preservatives. This is what causes a lot of trouble. Not so much what we eat, it's what's added to our foods. As I said before, everything that God made is good and is profitable to us. I do believe that we should watch our bodies. As I said before, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20, it is a temple, it is a gift from the Lord. However, more importantly, not worrying so much about the physical physical food let us be more concerned about the spiritual food first peter chapter 2 verse 2 tells us to go after the spiritual milk of the word of god in christ's day in john chapter 6 in verse 26 and 27 people were coming to christ not so much for the miracles but because they wanted their bellies full but jesus said in john 6 verse 35 that he is the bread of life let us go after the spiritual bread the spiritual milk more than worrying about what the physical foods that we eat, although we should take care of ourselves, 
physically, but more importantly, we need to take care of ourselves spiritually, eating of the Lord Jesus Christ, partaking of him in our lives, the milk of the word, the Bible, drinking in God's word and obeying it. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. Father, help us all to have self-control, one of the fruits of your Holy Spirit. We read in Galatians 5, verse 22 and 23, is self-control. Help us to control our emotions and our feelings and what we eat, Lord God. But more importantly, let us partake of you more this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters.